This week, a creator on TikTok began selling their own special homemade dipping sauce, and it got extremely popular, not only on TikTok, but across the entire internet. It's called Pink Sauce, and it became a sensation because it's so concerning. Even just its appearance is alarming. It looks like runny Pepto-Bismol. It looks like Majin Buu donated blood and it got turned into dipping sauce. It looks like the paint they use at glow-in-the-dark mini golf courses. It just doesn't look fit for human consumption. And it turns out, it's not exactly safe to eat. So let's get into it because this is a wild rabbit hole. So TikTok creators started making these posts promoting the pink sauce and then it eventually went up for sale for people to buy. And right away people noticed something was really peculiar with the bottle because it said there were 444 servings per bottle. Which is obviously wrong. Unless of course it's just the smallest serving sizes of all time. Like one tiddly wink of sauce is all you're supposed to consume before you like actually die from it like cyanide. And not only is like some of this shit on there mislabeled but some of the ingredients are misspelled. But the thing that really stood out to me is one of the ingredients in the sauce is milk. And this is shipped over state lines and it's packaged in just these baggies, like these small bags. There's no like ice or, or anything to freeze it, no dry ice to keep it cool. So you're just getting shipped hot milk. Also, there's no preservatives in it, so it has nothing to keep it stable. There's no way it survives the shipping process intact. It, it just becomes unedible. It, like the sh there's no shelf life here. The second this thing leaves a refrigerator, it's on a tight clock. You have maybe like one good hour with the pink sauce before it just turns to nuclear waste. It's just this, like, it's just a disaster. So no doubt by the time you receive your pink sauce, the milk is already spoiled. So you're basically just buying poison. Like, fundamentally, this is the Tide Pod challenge all over again, but in a bottle. By the time it reaches you... You've just got yourself like a, a goddamn container of rat poison. You may as well just go down to your local Walmart and just get a can of Raid Wasp Killer and start chugging that or dipping your chicken in that. You'd get the same flavor out of it. We need to talk about pink sauce and why a lot of people are concerned for the people that have bought this sauce from the lady that makes it on TikTok. Because the hue of the sauce keeps changing. Every photo, every video, the sauce color looks different. And also, she doesn't describe what it actually tastes like. I don't know if it is to promote it, get people to buy it, just to see what it tastes like. But she will not describe the taste. She says it's because she cannot describe the taste. I've been hearing it kind of tastes like ranch. Not exactly ranch, but basically ranch. I think it's important to note that the pink sauce that they're eating in the TikToks is probably safe. Like that was probably refrigerated and kept at the proper temperature so that way it didn't just turn into a bottle of rancid sludge. But the pink sauce people are receiving are the bottles that were just shipped through the mail in the hottest summer on record. So I think they're getting a very different sauce here. So they're probably fine in the videos you're seeing. But if you're one of those poor souls that ordered this, I mean, Godspeed to you. You're gonna really be training your immune system, have that shit working overtime, because this is a recipe for disaster. Like, this shit seems like it would give you botulism and COVID at the same time. Also, fun fact, I decided to look into this a little bit more, and a food safety expert weighed in on it, and actually confirmed what I was just joking about, that you can actually get botulism from this product. Imagine paying $20 just to get murdered by some viral sauce you saw on TikTok. This shit is just basically paying $20 for an assassin in a bottle. Now that people have purchased it, and received it they're noticing that there's a lot of stuff that's really sketchy with the bottle the nutrition facts seem to be off it says there's 444 servings some of the ingredients are spelled wrong the website also just seems so poorly put together like what is this why does it say this it's literally like $20 for a bottle and a lot of people are now worried that this creator is going to be facing a lawsuit. Yeah, if people keep reporting that they're getting violently ill from the pink sauce, I think there probably is grounds for a lawsuit. But I also think it's entirely their own fault for being stupid enough to buy sauce from a complete stranger on TikTok. The sauce was also arriving in the mail in these bags. They were not like boxed up with bubble wrap and we're talking about liquid sauce here. So obviously some people were receiving them literally exploded. It's honestly so sad. I'm really rooting for small businesses, but when it comes to food, you need to be careful with what you're buying and the safety and everything. I see a lot of people putting the focus on the wrong thing here with the shipping, talking about how it would always spill and all of that. And while it's true, 
since it was packaged so inefficiently. The spilling should be like the least of your concerns. That's a blessing. If all of your pink sauce spilled into the box, that means you can't consume it, which means you won't die from it. The most important problem is that they shipped it without any like refrigeration to keep it cool. And if the ingredients are accurate, there's no way that that can get as hot as it would during transit to get to you. Like it, by the time you get it, it is no longer safe to consume. So yes, it is true that it was packaged so poorly that all of them spilt. Like here, I'll show you a couple more videos. Pay attention to like the color too, and also look at the, look at how they always like arrived spoiled in most of the videos. can't even respond to that i'm just gonna let that one fly right on over i'm gonna let that one fly didn't even like actually arrive pink just ooze just revolting slime now the creator of it did respond and posted a video about it but it's not exactly a good response and she just chalks a lot of it up to being a small business and new to it but when you're selling a product like this you're you're literally being entrusted with people's lives you know like they're trusting you not to give them foodborne illness, salmonella, botulism, you know, all of that. So it's kind of hard to just be like, oh, it's just a small business, they're learning. So what if a few people have to die for them to get the pink sauce right? You know, it's not exactly like super excusable if you ask me. Time to acknowledge the elephant in the room. So I want to start off by saying, number one, my apologies. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. The grams got mixed up with the serving size there's 444 grams of pink sauce inside of each container so she starts by addressing the 444 servings thing saying it was just an honest honest mistake where grams got mixed up with the serving sizes and that it was being fixed so all the labels going forward would have the proper serving size this is a small business y'all we are working to try to get the price mark down on the pink sauce I want to also say I appreciate y'all for supporting me, for spending $20. She also mentions they're going to work on getting the price down. But again, I don't think there's any price you could pay me to even take a single lick of a spoon that was even anywhere near a pink sauce bottle. This is just an absolutely horrible, horrible venture. And I don't know how people actually bought it. Uh, but anyway... Let's see how she addresses, like, the actual safety concerns of consuming it. Yes, we are following FDA standard. However, we are currently in lab testing. We are in lab testing. So, once we go through lab testing, we will be able to pitch to stores to put the pink sauce in stores. And we're so excited about that. Good news, they're still in the lab testing, and you all are the guinea pigs. So, they'll be able to see what the fatality rate here is on the pink sauce and be able to fine-tune it to be an even deadlier weapon in the future, I guess. I, they don't address the actual safety concerns of it, obviously, but uh, I would have at least liked some insight on refrigeration instructions, like, why does it get to you discolored and fucking hot? It gets to you like molten lava when there's ingredients in there that shouldn't get to that temperature. So yeah, that's where the pink sauce rabbit hole wraps up. I hope no one's gotten extremely sick or have died from it. If they did, it would actually genuinely be their own fault. They'd have no one to blame but themselves. This is an entirely avoidable illness here. You don't have to be exposed to the pink sauce epidemic when it's very clearly not up to FDA protocols, it's not regulated, and it's not been done responsibly. So yeah, I, I just wanted to talk about it because this was a, a pretty wild one. That's about it. See ya.